So hello everyone, another founder in car. And today I will discuss um, other cars, successful cars for the Suzuki Swift uh, Sport. So as you might have known, uh, I have this car as a business car. So I need a car that is at least uh, representative or uh, tidy enough and also not too old to use uh, at customers. Of course, it could be very nice when you drive in a roll timer, which might make uh, quite an impression on uh, customers, but also you might uh, need to consider that an old timer has quite a lot of uh, uh, maintenance that needs to be done because they uh, just all are old, eh? that's what the name implies. Therefore, also they have uh, suffered quite a lot of uh, damage to the system, wear and tear, so to say, which can also uh, yeah, give you uh, detrimental effects as a business uh, consultant because that car might fail you. So, in my opinion, I would rather have a new car because it's more reliable or a uh, young time. A young time in the Netherlands is a car that's about 50 years old or older. And, uh, the old timer rule is being pushed back more, back more and more. So nowadays in the Netherlands you need at least 40 years of age in a car before it can be called a young time, no, no, no old timer. So you you might imagine that there are a lot more young timers than old timers, so to say, still on the road. And that's also uh, something that could be of interest. And why is that? Because from a fiscal point of view, you have a little bit less, um, how do you say this? Uh, you have to pay a little bit less personal tax as compared to a new car because they can uh, make a percentage of the current value. So from a new car, it's like 20. 122 percent that you have to pay each year of the total price of the car you have to pay for the use in a private sense so in other words in uh, five years of uh, ownership you have paid the car more than twice to the one at the uh, yeah, just a dealer which also gives a lot of uh, his income to the tax system and after that you pay it again full <coughs> to the tax system again and with a uh, young time it would be for 35 percent of the current value so if, for example if that car was once uh, 50,000 euros but now it's only worth 10,000 euros you pay the 35 percent over the 10,000 euros so only 3,500 euros instead of over the 22 percent over the 50,000 uh, euros which would be imply like 10,000 euros in taxes. So it could be quite beneficial, so to say, to go that route. Another thing to consider is that uh, a young timer, of course, has a lot more wear and tear as compared to a new car. Also, you don't have the warranty, so those are quite some uh, drawbacks. But the benefit is also that because the price is already a lot lower, because there's a lot of depreciation in those 50 years, that you might uh, have a car that will depreciate a lot less. So the overall cost of ownership would be a lot less in this case. So in other words, in my example, if the car was once 50,000 euros, now 10,000 euros, that 10,000 euros over a period of five years will only result in, for example, another 5,000 euros, 50% price drop. Then you have still a car of 5,000 euros, whereas a car of 50,000 euros in five years time would be about 20,000 euros more. So you will lose 30,000 euros in depreciation, which is quite a lot. So you should also take that into consideration, even if you have um, a lot of cost at the car to yeah, just keep it on the road, for the maintenance, this could be a good way to approach it. The last thing to consider is that you um, need to take into consideration if your car is allowed in the older green zones. So especially diesels are quite a lot pushed out of these green zones or inner city centers. 
whereas gasoline uh, cars are quite uh, yeah, quite a lot more tolerated but are also being phased out so for five years time if you're going to drive it five years this might not be that much of a drawback if you could perhaps still manage to uh, reach most parts of the city but it's something to take into consideration especially if you have to travel a lot and also in a lot of two environmental green zones so to say so that being said in the next video i will tell you about uh, what could be a good successor so what could be a good successor of the suzuki uh, swift uh, sport hybrid that i'm now driving so in my opinion uh, depending on the rules and also what what will develop it could be either going to an electric route because that's a lot less tax at the moment and also near 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 future it's expected to be or a young timer and for example i bought this car last year so 2021 so if a young timer still needs to be uh, at least 50 years of age and you would drive the Suzuki Swift sports five years then you reach 2026 and then a car as young as 2011 could still be a young timer so in 2011 I would probably be looking at an Audi uh, A5 or Audi S5. And why is that? Those cars have a 3 liter turbo V6. It's quite the same 3 liter turbo V6 even in the S5, just with a different tune. And they could be helped with some engine uh, optimization. And also, if you're able to do the exhaust, so then you're going towards uh, stage two. Stage 1 would give you about 440 horsepower, stage 2 460 horsepower, a little bit better uh, exhaust soundtrack of course, but that could be a good option, especially in the sportback form. And why is that? Because uh, in the sportback form you have a lot of the benefits of the coupe, so a nice car to look at and you still have quite a lot of practicality. So it's not as practical as for example the Avant, the A4 Avant, which is a sister model of the A5, but a lot more uh, pleasing to the eye. So yeah, <coughs> so to say with that uh, S5 Avant for example you have uh, like a Audi TT, but then with a uh, 5 door functionality and a lot bigger for the price of a car that is uh, yeah, still attainable. So you could have it for a similar price as a current day uh, Suzuki Swift Sport. So you might ask yourself, why don't I take um, an Audi S5 of 2006 or 2007 at this moment, instead of the Suzuki Swift Sport, if I'm going for that route eventually, it's a, a very good question to ask. And I considered it, but I, I found out that uh, in this case, so at the current stage, Suzuki Swift Sport is a better car for me. And why is that? Because you get six years of warranty, which is extremely uh, nice to begin with. And also this car currently was still not that extremely taxed. So the BPM, which is a uh, luxury tax, which is dependent on the CO2 emissions, so fuel efficiency, was still doable. Whereas in the future this will be uh, yeah, become harder and harder to reach. In the future this will be a bigger problem. And therefore, if you still want a nice car, you must go electric, either electric or buy an older car from a time that the BPM tax was not that insanely high. I think those are the considerations that I am now uh, yeah, just sharing with you, so you can also consider it.
Hope you like this uh, short video. Found a car. Out.